Welcome back to this video that will be about how to build the snail cam in Fusion 360 for your automata. Last video we talked about how to build the circle cam, um, the uh, polygon cam, the eccentric cam. Our pair cam looked a little different than this one. It was actually more pear shaped and today we're going to work on this snail cam. Now we're going to make this a little different. They consider the diameter to be, to be kind of from this point around the circle. I'm going to consider our diameter to be two times this radius right here from this point to the center point. So this, this dimension right here will actually be diameter divided by two and then we'll have from here to here to be the diameter divided by two. So let's get started. Um, in Fusion 360 we will start a new design. Okay, this time we're not going to sketch. We're just going to create a coil. Now when you create a coil it's going to ask you what plane you want to create this on. We're going to again choose the right plane just like we've been doing. Now this time it won't flatten it out for you. You need to click on the view cube. And we're going to hover right over the center point, click, pull out. Now it's going to make a circle and let's just start by making it 0.25, a quarter of an inch. Enter. Okay. Now what's going to happen is yours might look a little different than mine because it remembers what the last thing you did was. So if you move around, you'll notice that there's this coil that can be changed from the height, um, you can give it a taper angle. This is really fun for doing different things with springs and stuff. Uh, but for the purposes of what we are doing, we're not going to be using it for that. What we are going to do is we're going to make a spiral. So instead of a revolution in height, we're going to choose our type to be spiral. Now notice this makes something flat that is spiraling outwards. Now we're going to make some changes here. Um, and it may be a problem sometimes if we get an error, we're just going to change what we do. So notice it can change, you know, how tight and big our spiral is. So there's a bunch of things we need to do. First of all, we only want it to be one revolution. Okay. Now, one thing I forgot, I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now we've got more to do with this, but we're going to click OK because I forgot something. I'm not going to remake the video. I'm just going to come back here and modify. And I forgot to say I wanted to make parameters. So I need to add a user parameter called diameter like we've done before. Oops, French spelling there. All right, diameter. And again, I'm going to make it two inches. And later on, we can change that if we want. Now, that's the only one I need right now. All right, now that I've set a parameter, I'm going to go back to the coil, double click on it to edit this. Okay, and here we go. So we're going to make our um, pitch, that means the distance from here to here, um, be the diameter divided by two. Now, right now, I've got a diameter of 0.25. That's crazy small. So we're going to actually make our diameter be what I put in, diameter. Click. Now, notice that made it awfully big. That's okay. Um, our pitch right now is 0.3. Now, I want my pitch to be diameter. Okay, but I'm going to click on that, and it's going to be the diameter divided by 2. So now we've got our pitch from here to here to be the diameter divided by two. Now, right now, this is a circle, which doesn't help me. So we're going to make this a square. Okay. And um, we're going to make our section position be to the inside. So make sure this looks all like this. And finally, our section size of that square is going to be 0.25, the same as our material thickness. All right, so we've got all of that looking good. And finally, we're going to click OK. All right, and we end up with our spiral. Now, this is not yet um, what we need, so we've got another thing to do here. So we're going to sketch on this top surface here. Um, and we need to project some geometry. We're only going to project that outside edge. So and one other point. So create, project and include, project. I'm going to click only on that outside edge. I don't want the whole thing, just the outside edge. Okay? And I want this point 
right here. Actually, I want this point right here. Okay. And click OK. All right. So now we've got a projected edge. We are going to then use our line command L and connect this point to that point. And we've got a profile. And now we are going to create our center point. Now, this point may be the, one, the point that I want, but I'm going to create a circle out here. I don't want to hook to that because I'm not sure if that's the right point or not. We can measure it. Go from here to there and see what that is. That is the right measurement. But I'm a little worried about that staying in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and make a circle. I'm not going to hook it to here. I'm just going to get close to that. We're going to make it 5 sixteenths, 5 slash 16, like we did before. Enter. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to horizontally constrain from this point to that point. Well, horizontal constraint, point to point. And we're going to dimension D from this point to that point. Now, it might be the same as hooking it to the center point, but I'm not sure of that. So I'm going to make it diameter, but again, it's going to be diameter divided by 2. Again, it does happen to chain, put it on that midpoint, but I don't know if it will stay there if I change my parameters. So I'm playing it safe. All right, so now we've got our parameters all dealt with. We've got our profile. Now we can finish sketch, and we're going to extrude. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so you can see what we're doing. We're going to extrude that profile. Now we need both. Somehow the inside got chosen too, so I need both the part that already existed and the part inside. Okay. Now, we're going to go the other way, and right now it wants to cut. I'm going to join, okay, and instead of going a distance, I'm going to go to object and select the other side and click that face right there to fill that all in and join it and click OK. And congratulations, we have made a snail cam, the final cam of our uh, automata project. Let's go ahead and save that as snail cam and congratulations you've made your cans next video we'll talk about installing them into the box all right good job folks we'll see you next time